Hello everyone. My name is Mia Purse from Ascent Services here to give you information about language electives in high school. This is part of our elective series that you can also find on our YouTube channel and we hope that if you enjoy this video you check out those for more information. If you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or contact us by email or social media and let's jump right into it. So to give you a basic idea of what language classes are in high school, the general curriculum of what you will learn in the class is basically how to read, write, and converse in the language, as well as the culture and the history of the people or areas that speak it. Schools offer a variety of languages, often including Spanish and French, while also offering other languages such as German, Japanese, or Mandarin. Schools often require a certain level of language to graduate. For example, my district requires two levels of one language, and most colleges require two or more levels of one or more languages to be able to, be, to, be able to apply or to be competitive in admissions. Some things to know logistically about language classes is that, is that these are full cycle classes lasting an entire year or semester, depending on your school's schedule. If you are at a school where core classes last an entire year, then your language class will also last this long. Keep in mind that language curriculums vary by language. For example, in Spanish, you might start with simple conversation, but in Japanese, you would first learn how to read or write with a new script. Language classes have a variety of different levels that usually get harder as you go along. It's important to note that no matter what class you are in, there will be a large emphasis on tests and projects as the majority of your grade, so grading can be very strict. That being said, there are honors and AP level language classes as you go higher up. So when choosing a language, make sure that you choose a language that will benefit you in the future. For example, if you plan on becoming a teacher, you may want to take Spanish as it allows you to better communicate with ESL learners, English Second Language. But if you plan on going into business, Mandarin or German, places spoken in places where language or business is prominent, is probably the language for you. So when should you start taking a language class? Consider the desired level of a language you want to reach. The higher the level you want to get to, the earlier you will have to start. People who want to reach requirements for graduation and college often take language classes their freshman and sophomore year just to get them out of the way. Also, consider your schedule availability. You shouldn't skip a semester or year in between your language classes, as you will likely forget what you learned previous. As such, if you took a language in middle school, it is best to continue to the next level as soon as you get to high school in your freshman year. Either way, a language will take up sev several consecutive cycles in your schedule that you should plan for in advance. As I said before, there are honors and AP level language classes offered. Honors credit is usually given at the third or fourth level and AP at the fifth or sixth. There is an AP exam offered for certain languages, but this will not exempt you from taking a language in college, only boost you past the first college level of that language. You will also most likely have to take a placement test in addition to the AP test. People who score fives on these AP language exams are also usually native speakers. The curriculum varies throughout the different levels of the language, too. The first few focus mainly on the comprehension bit, which includes basic reading, writing, and conversing, where later levels focus more on nuances of the language, culture, and history. So what are language classes like? Language classes tend to be very interactive and often require presentation or speaking to other students in class, as well as answering questions from the teacher to test your knowledge and pronunciation. Memorization of vocabulary, grammar, etc. in a language class is a must, and you should make sure you spend time not only in but out of class doing so. Language classes because of this can also be writing and note heavy, so make sure to keep these organized. This will also help you in the future, as language classes build off of one another. Each level of a language will build on concepts learned in the previous one. Language classes can open doors to many amazing opportunities in high school. If you take all level of a language and love a language and or join that language's honor society, you may be eligible for an honor cord from that language to wear during graduation. In addition, languages often have honor societies where you can join it at a certain level that can provide volunteer and leadership opportunities. 
There are awards you can earn for your skill and dedication to a language as well in and out of school, including the Seal of Biliteracy or awards in nationwide competitions such as the German language competition that happens annually each year. Schools also often organize trips abroad for language students. Due to expenses, however, these trips are mostly optional. Taking a language in high school can also benefit you in all areas of life. Studies show that students who take languages in high school tend to do better on standardized tests, have better problem solving skills and communication skills than those who don't. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment your questions, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in this elective playlist.